shed blood, you are saved from sin and its penalty? Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? And do you renounce the sinful ways of the world? Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving, Christ-centered life in your home and before the world? Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian? Do you covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study? Do you accept the Ten Commandments so that chance people the character of God and a revelation of His will? Do you purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the Fourth Commandment, which requires you keep the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord, as a memorial of creation? Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall have put on immortality? As you prepare to meet the Lord, will you witness to His loving salvation by using your talents in personal soul-winning endeavor? To help others to be ready for his glorious appearing. Amen. Do you accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts that's already this morning and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Amen. Do you believe in Christ? Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and to support the church through your tithes and offerings and by your personal effort and influence? Amen. Number 10, do you believe that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful, and abstaining from all unclean food, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, from the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of form for human consumption, and from the misuse of or trafficking in narcotics and other drugs? Amen. Do you know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh Day Church? Do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will by ordering your life in harmony with His principles? Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and His forgiveness of your sins? Amen. Finally, do you accept the belief? Do you accept and believe that the Seventh Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy and that people of every nation, race, and language? are invited and accepted into its fellowship? Do you desire to be a member of this local congregation of the World Church? Amen. Okay. Um, so we have heard so, um, but still I'm going to um, vote here so that they can see that was done that so all those are in favor that we accept Okay. Okay. All by the same time. Okay. So discourage and need therefore they're not subject to your baptism to become uh, bona fide members of the church. Church means that you have the same boat like anyone else. Okay. Okay. God bless. Shall we pray? Loving Father, our God. We pray, O oh Lord, even as we go into the ceremony of baptism, we pray that you might bless this water. Help, O oh Lord, that as they go under and come up, by faith, indeed, you might make them brand new creatures. In your name we pray. Amen, amen and amen.
It's only on an audio though. Okay, as minister of the gospel, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
We have witnessed lives that have been tra uh, changed and transformed at the command of Jesus. He tells us that we need to go and preach the gospel and baptize in his name. And all they're doing is following his instructions by faith. And they're always people, when they come and see a baptism, they want to make a commitment that the next baptism will not pass without them making that commitment. So I'm just going to ask if there's anyone who is looking at the baptism at this time, who would like to say, Pastor, pray for me, that I'll be in that next baptism. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. God sees a hand. God sees a hand. Amen. God sees a hand. God sees a hand. Shall we pray? Our loving Father and our God, we want to thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of salvation. We want to thank you for the great price that, is, that has been paid on the cross of Calvary for humans. We want to thank you, Lord, that there are always those who are brave and, 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 and wise enough to say yes to you. For they realize that you made them and not they themselves. And they want to give back to you the life that they owe to you. You gave your all for us, and they will to say, I want to give back my all to Jesus. So we pray that you may continue, Lord, to be with them as they begin this journey as newborn babes. May we here who have witnessed this baptism be there to encourage and not discourage, be there to help them on their growing experience and help that all of us who are here, when you shall return, may be found in that glad number when the saints were marching in. I pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. God bless.